Over the past four years of making videos on my YouTube channel, I have made a lot of videos on the topic of candle math. This has actually been one of the most passionate topics that I've ever talked about on this channel because it is something that I desperately have been wanting all of you to understand. And it has been a huge challenge for me to figure out the best way to go about teaching it so that each and every one of you will be able to understand. Because I think that this is such a foundational point when it comes to to the candle making process. And it gives you so much more freedom to be able to make candles in any size vessel or jar that you find and want to make a candle out of. And you're not stuck in the formula of using one ounce of fragrance oil to one pound of wax. That's a good way to get started, but it's very limiting and it doesn't really allow you to be able to utilize any jar, any vessel and not have any leftover wax. So the candle formula that I have always used and have I've always taught on my channel allows you to be able to have the correct percentage of fragrance oil for each of your candles as well as not have any leftover wax either and I have had quite a few people along the way throughout the years um, let me know that they believe that I am incorrect in my candle making formula and a huge misunderstanding and misconception when it comes to figuring out how much wax and how much fragrance oil you need to make your candle um, kind of goes back to the standard of just trying to find the percentage of a number. So for instance, a very common way that I see a lot of people going about trying to figure out how much wax and how much fragrance oil they need for their candle is to figure out the fill weight of their candle and then multiply that number by the percentage of fragrance oil that they want to use for the candle. So for instance, if you were looking at an eight ounce candle, so with an eight ounce fill weight, meaning that for whatever jar you're using, the fill weight of wax is eight ounces. So you take that number eight and you multiply it by your desired fragrance oil percentage. To make it easy, let's do 10%. So if you multiply eight ounces by 10%, that gives you the supposed fragrance oil weight that you would need for your equation. And in this example, it is 0.8 ounces of fragrance oil. Then what you would do is you would subtract that from the fill weight to get the wax weight. And in this example would be 7.2 ounces. So in theory, it looks like this would be the correct way to figure out the formula on what you would need to make your candle. But the reason why this isn't accurate is because it's going based off of the percentage of the total fill weight and not the percentage of the wax weight. The main difference here is that you're looking for two numbers where the fragrance oil is 10% of the wax weight and that equal the fill weight of whatever desired jar that you're working with. And the way that you can check this is just by dividing the fragrance oil by the wax weight. So in order to find what percentage a number is of another number, you're going to divide it by that number. So in this instance, if you divide that 0.8 ounces by the 7.2 ounces, that gives you 11.1% fragrance oil. And this is because we are not trying to find the percentage of the total candle, that total um, fill weight that includes the fragrance oil and the wax. We are just trying to find 10% of the wax weight. And then we want both the fragrance oil weight and the wax weight to equal our fill weight. So here's a visual example for you to be able to see. So here are two different colors. We have blue that represents fragrance oil and we have red that represents wax. So these are both weight and we're going to pretend that this is wax. This is obviously just water but this is just for a visual. So when we make a candle, it involves mixing wax and mixing fragrance oil. So when you blend them together, we get more of a purpley color. So this is just a visual representation showing that the fill weight that we are calculating already includes the fragrance oil. So if you're simply multiplying this fill weight number by your desired fragrance oil percentage, it's not going to be accurate because you're basically taking this and saying, okay, so I want to find what percentage of this needs to be fragrance oil, but there's already fragrance oil inside of it. So that's why we're essentially working backwards. So 
you can think about, okay, so if I have a finished candle, how do I work backwards? What is the equation to figure out? Okay, so this is the fill weight number and this is the desired percentage oil, percentage of fragrance oil that I want to use. And using those two numbers, you're actually able to figure out how much wax and how much fragrance oil you need, which will give you that accurate ratio of fragrance oil to wax, which will be that desired fragrance oil percentage. And then your fragrance oil and your wax will be able to blend together and go up to that de desired fill weight level. So it's going to essentially be just like this purple candle, you're gonna figure out how much of that red wax weight you need, how much of that blue fragrance oil you need so that it's going to blend together and you're going to be able to figure out what you need for your specific candle. So I hope the example with the red and blue dye kind of made a little bit more visual sense on why you can't just multiply that fill weight by whatever desired fragrance oil percentage that you want to work with in order to make your candle because it's going to give you inaccurate numbers and you're actually going to have a higher fragrance oil percentage than what you think that you're working with. Now, when it comes to the actual formula that I use and I have talked about many times on my channel, I will go over briefly on how to go about doing that. But if you wanna see more in depth when it comes to this, I will leave a couple videos down in the pinned comment section so you can really go through. I did a whole PowerPoint presentation of a candle math video on how to basically do everything up until the point of uh, making your candle, how to make multiple candles with that formula. I go over everything in that video. And then I will also leave a video as well on how to find the fill weight because I've had a lot of people question about that. And there's two ways you can do it. You can either do it with wax or with water. I did it with wax for the longest time and then found that water was actually a much faster and easier way to do it with just a simple equation that you could do. But when it comes to the actual candle making formula, how do I go about doing it? So whatever vessel, jar, fancy thing that you found at a thrift store that you're like, this is cool, I kinda wanna make a candle out of it, but you don't have any information on what the fill weight is and you have your own fragrance oil percentage that you want to use for that candle. The best way to go about doing it is taking your fill weight, which is essentially filling your candle up and figuring out how much total wax weight can fit inside your candle vessel. It's going to be different for every single jar that you are working with, and do not go based on what the volume of that container is. So for instance, this jar is sold as a 13.5 ounce jar, but that just means that filled up to the top, it's about 13.5 ounces, fluid ounces of water, and that doesn't help us at all when it comes to candle making. So you need to figure out how high you want to to fill your candle and then figure out what your fill weight number is from there, which basically just involves putting your empty jar on a scale, pouring water up to your desired fill level, multiply that number by 0.86, which is the difference in density between wax and water, and then you have your new fill weight that you can use for this equation. So really all you need to figure it out is you need two numbers. One is your fill weight, and this is very important because if you don't have an accurate fill weight, then you will be short or you will have an overage of leftover liquid for your vessel and it's not going to be exact. And we're looking for exact for this video. So you need to know your wax, your fill weight number, and you also need to know your desired fragrance oil percentage, which again is based on the wax that you're working with. But for the most part, that's a preference on what number you want to work with for your candle. And that's the only two numbers that you need. So again, we're basically working backwards. We know these two numbers. And we are going to plug those two numbers into the formula to figure out the exact fragrance oil weight and wax weight that you need for the candle that you are making. So the formula is fill weight divided by 100% plus the fragrance oil percentage, and that gives us the wax weight. And then we basically just subtract the wax weight from the, from the fill weight and that gives us the fragrance oil weight. So in this example of the eight ounces being the fill weight, we would divide eight divided by 110%. That gives us 7.27 ounces of wax weight. 
and then we subtract that from the fill weight, which gives us 0.73 ounces of fragrance oil weight. And you can check to see if you're correct by seeing if those two numbers need to add up to equal the fill weight because we're looking to add those two numbers up to equal the fill weight. And then um, you can divide the fragrance oil by the wax weight and that needs to be 10%. We don't want it to be 11.1%. We're looking for that 10%. So this is where you can basically check your work to make sure that you have an accurate equation for what candle you are making. And one point I wanna make at this point because these are this is a common question I get is what is the 100% for? Why are we adding that together? And to be completely honest, I don't know, I just basically follow the formula. I had somebody who was very, very good at math um, create this formula for me after a couple of videos where I was trying my best to explain how to do it, but my formula was way more complicated before in the past, and she basically simplified it for me, so that was very helpful. But I just follow the formula, it works, it gives me the accurate result. You don't have to be a crazy mathematician or be super good at math to do this, it's basically just working backwards. I really hope that this video um, helped those of you that need some kind of visual example. And I really hope that seeing this purple candle right here will give you more of a visual example about, again, why it's not so simple with candle math. It is a little bit more um, involved with the thought process of how to do it, but it's the same thing as if you're trying to find sales tax out of something that you sell. It's not just taking that number and multiplying it by the sales tax percentage. You have to figure out what part of that number already includes the sales tax. I made a video on that as well. Sales tax and candle math kind of merge together. And again, I get very, very passionate about this topic and I don't know why. I just, I want everybody to understand this so badly. And after all the times that I've um, tried to talk with people in the comment section who are saying that I'm incorrect or I have the wrong formula or I'm over complicating things and it's not that complicated and all you have to do is just multiply it by 10%. I really hope that this video was a very good demonstration and gave you more of an understanding on the whole formula and kind of a little bit more of an addition to all the videos that I've made in the past. But with that, I am going to end today's video right here. I really hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know if this was helpful at all, um, if this made more sense, if this kind of was like a light bulb moment for you. Um, I really, really would love to hear that. And I hope that you check out the other videos as well um, that I've made you know, in the past on this topic. Um, but with that, I will uh, end today's video right here. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you in my next video.